Hello, my soccer universe. Two more packages to be unpacked. But before we get to those, first of all, uh, what am I wearing? I'm wearing the Carolina Hurricanes third jersey from a few seasons ago. The Carolina Hurricanes, my NHL team. One of my top four and the one that I visit regularly made it to the NHL semifinals by beating the New York Islanders four games to nothing. Completely I'm surprised. The Islanders won in the first round against Pittsburgh for nothing. Now they lose for nothing. And Carolina, after a seven game series, had now a sweep. I'm happy. I'm just a little bit worried that they might get too much risk because all the other semifinals are at two games apiece. Except for one that's 3-2, but that's in the other conference. Uh, you also have a, lift, a little different view on my scarves now here. The Espanol scarf is showing. But let's get to the new jerseys. The first one, you saw it yesterday in my video, if you haven't, uh, go check it out. Is this one that I checked on the 11th or 10th of March. I contacted the seller to get this wonderful Juventus shirt. I've seen this um, on this flea market page and all of the packages are from this flea market page called Wilhelm want, want to have um, a long time ago and it was initially 40 meanwhile it was 30 and I said no, now I'm gonna take it um, when you ask me about Juventus this is the first time that I saw Juventus for me Juventus is kind of mentally Upim with the Upim sponsor this I think is the 91-92 version I know that in 1991 they had here the Cocarda for the cup winner. On the other hand, I saw online you can also get the 1991 here. So I honestly don't really know when, which season it is. Uh, we'll call, I say now 91, 92, but it could be the 1991 too. Uh, maybe it's the 1991 because uh, this is not going through. So anyway, he sold us the 8990, which it is for sure not because the 8990 has the black Kappa logo. Uh, beautiful shirt, um, just very few minor flaws, but due to the age, there is a noticeable stain here at the collar, which I'm going to work on. This will feature in the video. They are, of course, the occasional, you can see here, the occasional pulls, but for a shirt this age, you know, also this uh, the two stars are not that fresh yet. Uh, so yeah, that's a minor. Those are minor things that don't actually bug me. I actually love the detailing. If you look at the shadow pattern, there's even... You don't have the UV crest on the shirt, but you have it, for instance, here in the shadow pattern, kind of hidden. I have to find a nice spot. Do we see it on the white? Here on the white. Below. Uh, hard to see, hard to see. I'll make it when I look at the video. What put this over the top for me is the number on the back. Number 10. This is Roberto Baggio to me. And yes, uh, Juve did not have this numbering style, although this is the classic a classic numbering style of the time. Juve didn't have it, but still, it's 10. It's Baggio uh, that did it for me. It also has another minor flaw. Is it on this side? There's a teeny tiny hole under the sleeve but it's right along the seam so this is easily fixable i'm very happy to have this uva shirt this was before uva got annoyingly successful um i wonder if i i, I, I will check those little pulls i think you can fix slightly as well absolute beauty this one the only thing i'm afraid will not be fixable is on the 10 this little stain but so be it it's the uva shirt if you have to ask me which you you shirt do you want to have, it was either the 97, 98 one or this one. So happy to have this one. For me, I I have a few stories with this one, but I'll tell them later. Let's open parcels. Let's low open first this one here. Uh, that one I was hoping to have last weekend already. It arrived yesterday. Uh, kind of a week late. I don't, I, I don't know why the seller is took so long to send this because I was actually really hoping to unpack three jerseys last week. So you only got two, but today you get three. So uh, both jerseys here, I mean, I know which ones they are, uh, are of course national team jerseys that 
will fit nicely. Oh, this is very well. Here we have it. It's even stapled shut. So, that's the first one. It is an L. Spain 2012. Uh, the one that my wife has and now I have it too. Um, I think I paid for this 15 euros, which I'm very happy about. So uh, not expensive. I like that it has the number, but I'll turn it around in a second. I absolutely love the detailing here for the European Championship. It was never worn that way, but that was kind of a really nice touch that you have some match detailing. I love the crest. Now this is my first Spain shirt that actually has a star and it was always the one that I wanted to have with the star. And let's turn it around. Number five is Puyol. Yes, he didn't play at those Euros because he was injured, but come on, 15 bucks. I'm fine with that. Uh, I like more for the match detailing than anything else. It's in, this is as new. Uh, you have here the nice tag, climber cool, everything. I'll look at this closer. Uh, since my wife has it, I always want to have that one too. I'm very happy to have this one now we can. She, I have both of her jerseys now in men's sizes too. And this is a beautiful shirt. I've written a blog post, a uh, link probably below that one. So very happy to have this one now. I think I'm happy with my Spain collection. I have all their winning jerseys. I have the one from the World Cup in 2006. And I will not lust for the 2018 at the moment anymore, which, you know, I saw for 30 a few times, but they are not all that great. They should have been great, but they weren't. Okay, second parcel. That is from, this shirt is from a 2018 World Cup. And I'm not saying too much, it has some familiarity. It is very much like the Spain jersey from that World Cup in a few regards. Let me open this very carefully here. This one, I, I mean, I saw it for like two weeks ago. But I didn't yet wanna um, buy it because it was the end of the month. But I already had this will be my first May purchase. This Juve shirt, although I had the money ready, was also kind of a May purchase. Also kind of a May purchase. So, yep. Uh, I know my brother has another one for me. I think he may at most one more jersey. Let's see. As I said, this jersey is definitely like the, uh, it's very similar to the Spain jersey. It comes in original packaging, which I like. It's the Colombia away jersey. It's a little bit funny. Uh, I actually like the previous away jersey even better, but I never disliked this one. I, uh, I like the combination of blue with orange. And I have to say, I was always, um, how to say, I was like the blue with orange, but I always thought it will be a Dutch away jersey that I will get first. No, it's this Columbia one. And it has this pattern in here that like the Spain jersey has over here. Um, I was wondering at the time, why here and not here? Why do you want to kind of do, hide it below the crest? I know now this is um, based on the Mulera, which is kind of the scarf that the coffee growers wear so that makes a whole lot of sense it's a beauty absolutely a beauty let's see has climber light everything's here wonderful shirt absolutely absolutely love it here yes, it even comes with tag adidas very cool uh, look at the back Unidos por un país, united for one country. Uh, <laughs> it looks a little bit odd here, but I, I told him I really like this shirt. Uh, very nicely done. Uh, the colors are unusual for Colombia. I also made a blog post about this one. It's also linked below. Uh, very happy to have this. I actually wanted to have uh, one of those remake colors. <sighs> Don't ask me why, I just am a sucker for uh, certain details that I want to check out. Uh, really, really 
nicely done. This is actually nicely printed into the fabric. I have to that 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 I love a lot. It's pretty cool. Look at this pattern. Absolutely cool. Well, that's that. Those are my two, three new jerseys that I ordered. Let me tell you what you think about this. The Columbia jersey fits perfectly because the Copa Americas can't come up and I need a few more South American jerseys I have of five countries now. So I think I'm very well settled and for Africa I have three at the moment. A fourth one is coming and I'm thinking about a fifth one so I have also five so a little bit more even there if I do videos I can wear hopefully the appropriate shorts. Again, let me know what you think about these jerseys, how you like them. Um, if you let me know any thoughts about that, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed that video and I will talk to you soon. Up until then, bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things my soccer universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.